Bob Bowie 13 here from iPhone Enthusiast Blogspot.com again. I'm going to do a different type of review for you guys today. It's not throwing my phone into the ceiling fans or into the street to get run over by trucks. None of that good stuff. But I'm going to tell you exactly why you should jailbreak your iPhone in a few quick demonstrations here. This is going to be a little rapid fire, so I'm not going to get into too much depth. And I hope you can see the screen, but we're going to start with my lock screen with media phones smart screen which is really awesome if you like widgets you want widgets on your iPhone this is where you go to get the best widgets if you ask me as you can see my uh, unlock bar is not here I have it hidden if I slide up it will bring up my lock slider you can barely see that because I have a theme on there that uh, makes it kind of invisible but I get this really cool counter clock that actually has an animation that's bitchin that's one of their widgets I go here bam I have Twitter I have Twitter. I can update Twitter by touching this. Right now I'm, uh, I'm on all my mentions. I can switch back to my timeline of everybody by just tapping that. And I can respond by either tapping one person or just post a tweet by tapping up there in the bubble. Really cool interface, really quick. It's really awesome. I mean, I can't tell you how handy this comes not to go into my phone and open a uh, Twitterific or anything like that. Next is really bitchin'. This is the contacts widget, which you'll see an awesome cover flow here of all your contacts that are on favorites, or you can switch it so it's all your contacts. You can either call, you can email, or text straight from that widget, which is cool. I have a uh, weather feed here, which is a really awesome weather widget. It uh, has, wow, well, try saying that five times fast. It uh, gives you the option of two different locations. If I tap twice, it's going to change to Reseda, where I am from. If I tap twice, back to Phoenix. It shows a five-day outlook by pushing that right there on the today. It will show you humidity, sunrise, sunset, all that good stuff. Really cool. And I got a calculator on there. Search bar is still kind of buggy. I would have shown you guys that, but I was having problems with it uh, stopping its function after a few uses, so we're going to scratch that from my demo review here. Okay, so going into the phone now. If you're not jailbroken yet, you'll see that my phone is completely themed. I can, you can do whatever you want to it. You have a thousand and one different uh, theming themes uh, on a winter board application which I won't get too into here it's uh, look it up on another video or uh, online or Google it but winter board is awesome uh, what I want to show you first is SB settings any of you jailbreakers know of it already but if you're not jailbroken then this is how I change all my settings if I want to turn 3G off or uh, Bluetooth on or anything I even have a silent turn my uh, instead of messing around with my switch on the side I have a silent button there you can do anything from here you can set your toggles uh, according to what they have you can put extra toggles if you uh, get them from Cydia which is our app store and uh, it's really cool you can also hide uh, up to 12 different um, different apps in your dock up here they will not show up on your springboard they'll all be here we're going to close that. There's also other settings down here that you can play with yourself once you jailbreak. Backgrounder. I'm going to mention background, but I'm not going to get too into it. Backgrounder backgrounds application so you can run in the background for quick launch back to where you were before. I'm going to do that right here real quick with YouTube. And I'm going to show you the beginning of MQuickDo, which is based on an invisible status bar at the bottom that you swipe. It's all gesture based. If I do a short swipe to the right, because that's how mine's set, it's going to background YouTube. So background and en enabled there. Now from any app you can bring up with MQuickDo with a quick slide up, what's been backgrounded, or quick launch applications that you can set at your own will here. Now if I want to unbackground YouTube, it's up in the top corner here. I'm just going to touch it, drag it to the corner, and drop it. It's not backgrounded anymore. So that saves your memory, uh, your RAM memory. It's really easy to use, really comes in handy. It's a real quick switch, better from the old background app uh, original uh, interface. Next, what I want to show you, since we're doing status bar slides for SB settings over to the right or left, either of your choice, uh, if I want to slide down from my top status bar, I'm going to bring up a really cool tweet called Q Tweeter. And if I bring it down, it's going to bring down that window and bring up a keyboard, and I can tweet to you guys. If I put, let's say, just 
reviewing in here. Now, of course, I'm not looking at the keyboard. I put Twee viewing. Maybe that would work too. Reviewing. And send. It's going to take a couple seconds. And it's sent. Really cool, easy way to update your Facebook and Twitter. So if you have a Facebook, you can uh, enable both at the same time or either or. Um, you could also send uh, pictures and I believe short videos as well from uh, QTweeter. I haven't used video yet on there, but uh, in and out, it's a really awesome tweak. Never had a problem with it. Um, just all around. It makes the iPhone experience, the user interface so much better. Well, I don't really have too much more to uh, show you all today because I don't have much time left in my video. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot one of the most important ones. One of my favorites, if not my favorite, is Real iReal SMS. iReal SMS allows you to send, re receive, and reply full text messages and multimedia messages within any app. So let's just open for shits and giggles my settings right here. And I have it set so if I push my volume up and tap the screen on the volume button, it's going to open up, bam, window and keyboard. Now from here I can go to any of my favorites by pushing that star, but I don't want to bring up phone numbers, not like you could see them on this shitty camera I'm using anyways. But it's really awesome. You could, but you, you could use favorites or start typing, and as you type, you know, it's going to load names which matches what you typed in so far here. You can just click, tap, bring up that. To your con from your contacts or you just put in a number also they just added because this is a beta version this is a iReal um, SMS 3.0 beta 5b and this started with just the first beta you can use multimedia here it comes with a group of uh, emoji icons and you hit that camera it's going to go right to your camera roll so you can send an MMS in any app obviously and if I don't want if I change my mind let's say press close it's gone I'm still in the app so you don't have to mess around with another SMS app anytime I mean it pops up if I get a text right now from somebody it's gonna pop up and I can reply in that screen which is I think really awesome okay other than that I don't have much more for you guys today uh, that was just a quick demo of some of the cool little tweaks and widgets that uh, they have now for iPhone if you're jailbroken Stay tuned for uh, my next couple videos. My next uh, screen review will be on some games, uh, including emulators and a couple games I've never seen reviewed. Uh, and uh, other than that, I have a condoms versus bodyguards uh, up next, which uh, should be a little bit entertaining for you. Thanks a lot. Everyone have a great evening. Bubba Booey 13 from iPhoneEnthusiastBlogspot.com. Check it out.